Hey you guys, so I haven't done a video in a while, but it's your favorite author, Tracy Way, coming at you from Virginia. Anybody who has watched my videos previously know that I always come at you from Virginia. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump in to what I have to say. So um, y'all seen my post earlier? I do not. Um, I or I'm sorry, I am not Muslim. But I do believe in um, a good bit of the Muslim teachings. Um, I've been watching my brother Riza Islam on YouTube. And since his social media is blocked, he is banned from YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all of that. Um, I'm just going to take a brief second to speak on behalf of my brother Riza Islam because I respect everything that he had to say. I respect that he advocates for um, uh, black and brown people. You know, very intelligent guy, very humble guy, very intellectual guy and stuff. So I just want to share with you um, what I learned from my brother Risa Islam over the last couple of days. I have been binge watching him on YouTube. Um, so anyway, one of, one of the things that Riza learned from the Honorable Minister Farrakhan, Louis Farrakhan, is that he said, if you have family, talk to them every day, right? And that's, that's very important. You know, family is very important. And, you know, a lot of us understand that sometimes family can be a little this or that. And, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has their own opinions. That is fine. But um, I call, I video chatted a few of my family members the other day. And although we live very different and we all have very different um, views and opinions on things, you know, we had a very nice conversation, you know, and I'm glad that um, I took that information from my brother Riza Islam and called, you know, my family members, you know, I applied that right to my life and, you know, we had, we were able to have, you know, a good conversation. Not all of my family members were on the video chat, but the few that answered, you know, we shared some laughs and, you know, my brother um, Joseph had to go to work. So he wasn't on real long, but I think we got a good like 30 minutes in with him. So, you know, that was nice. Um, another thing that my brother Reza Islam was saying is, you know, how we can break economical enslavement with black, with color folks, right? So he said that find get like so you would gather people in the neighborhood gather the people that can fight then you need to have somebody that can sit with the children if ever there is a time you know to go to war or when you're dealing with the enemy aka blue eyed devils whatever you know you would like to call them and then you have um you have you know the the educator somebody who can teach the children so that history doesn't repeat itself again which i love that my brother reza islam you know stated all of this it was just like the most beautiful thing that i ever heard and you know when he was saying all of this and i'm just taking it all in and i'm taking it all in and you know he's like about growing our own food and things like that and he's like you know each person can take 25 dollars put that money together and, you know, start a, start a garden, start growing, you know, our own food, which I've been having this conversation with my mom, um, you know, for the longest time, you know, and I'm definitely proud of my mom. She just bought a house, um, you know, and I told her that it's, it's so important that this happened for her because I said black and brown people, we're getting back to our roots of ownership. We are starting to own land again. We are starting to own our own businesses. And, you know, we don't need the white man's money to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, super proud of my mom for buying um, buying a house. You know, she's been working on this for quite some time now. She was able to, um, you know, close on, on her house. Really nice house and stuff like that. Um... I had, a, I had one of her white friends say, you know, oh, buying a house is good for all folks. And, you know, I simply responded to her and I said, there's more where that came from because, you know, I understand that not a lot of white folks get where I'm coming from when I say that we are getting back to our roots of owning our homes. We're buying buildings. We're setting our kids up, 
you know, for success and, and wealth and, you know, for them to be financially, you know, free for when they get older, you know, they, um, they know how to run a business. They know how to manage money. They know how about credit cards. They know about banking, you know, so I just wanted to, you know, just take some time and, you know, just share some things with my brother Reza Islam has, um, the interviews on, um, there is a lot more that my brother talked about. Unfortunately, I have to clock in. I'm at work. I'm a, I'm a server. Um, but to my brother Reza Islam, if you see this video, just know that I am super proud to have watched your interviews. You are a fantastic guy. Thank you for standing up, you know, for us and speaking on us and fighting the fight, you know, um, as, as a brown mom, you know, I have two sons and a daughter and, you know, I have had talks with my youngest son. I feel like my youngest son, I get with him more because how, as crazy as it sounds, my youngest son was born the day after Malcolm X was assassinated. Um, Malcolm was assassinated the, the 20, the 21st, I'm sorry, the, um, it's the, the 20th, I'm sorry. So Malcolm was assassinated the 21st, I believe, and my son was born the 20th, February 20th. So, you know, I always, I always try to educate my youngest son as much as I can, you know, about things. And although he's young, he might not get all of it now, but he'll appreciate, you know, what I teach him later on in life. But um, anyway, so just, you know, real quick, black and brown people, you know, just keep, just keep in mind that, you know, build your community wherever you live at. Reach out to your brown brothers and sisters. Start talking to them about, you know, uh, um, agriculture. Start talking to them about about um, farming. You know, who's going to help grow um, the farm? Who's going to look after the kids when it's time to fight that fight? Who's going to be the educator? You know, who's going to who's gonna teach our kids? And, you know, who's going to get out there on the front line? You know, this is it's so important, you know. And it's even, it's you know, I can understand, too, how it can be maybe a little scary, but when you're literally ready to stand up for what you believe in and you're ready to fight for what's right, you know, your your whole mindset changes. And, and you know, that's that's kind of like where I'm at right now. That's why I spend so much time, you know, watching Louis Farrakhan, watching um, Dr. Sebi, watching Dr. Umar, watching Dr. Francis um, Cre 